Yes, yes, and welcome to another video, and Burrell's Blues are into the fourth round of the FA Cup with a 4-1 victory against Swindon Town. Um, you know, it wasn't the most entertaining game in terms of, like, well, entertainment, but <laughs> we got the win, we got the points, and we are into the next round. Now, before we get into it, guys, I want to say a massive shout-out to today's sponsor, the guys at Boohoo Man, you know, these guys are, seriously, guys, these guys are slamming on the Boohoo Man scene. They've got so many like mint clothes for cheap like genuinely like i'm so like honestly i don't spend a lot of money on clothes me personally i went to boohoo man and they're cheap they've got their own sales on and they've been really generous and give us an, a code that you can use city extra easy to remember and you get an extra 10 percent off whatever like sales they've got on and stuff so it's actually genuinely sick go check it out i know you've all got that little spending money from you from your christmas presents and that you know what i mean so go check it out at boohoo man massive shout out to them for sponsoring today's video um right bro oh, let's bro get bro what, what someone just become a video member on the video look someone just got this, oh, this, hey, that, this is the second time it's ever happened that is rare that we've been doing this since what july 2020 yeah, it's our and second year, isn't it? This, yeah, is yeah. The, this is the second time. When them lights go, we need to explain. We have an extra club members, which you can go to an extra club member. Link in the description if you want to join. When that light goes red, that means someone's joined. And that's just happened mid-record. So that's that the never second happens. time. That never happens. It's the second that. time in over, over nearly two years that that's happened. So that's, that's actually mad. Um, right, let's get into the video, bro. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, my God. Cole Palmer. This guy is... Oh, he's saucy, bro. Bro. He's unreal. He's actually unreal. Mm. And you said it in the live stream. Mm -hmm. Riyad Mahrez 2.0. Riyad Mahrez yeah, regen. He's the regen of Mahrez. Yeah. He is sick. He's looking so good. And then when we started the game, I, I presume they thought he'd be playing false nine. Uh, he started on the right hand side and Bernardo was the false nine. Mm -hmm. And he was ripping it up. He had the guy on toast who, who was their left back. He was skidding him every single time. He absolutely smashed it for the Bernardo goal. His goal that he got was an incredible finish. Um, and I, I'll get people like, oh, but it's Swindon Town and that, but he just looks nah, so like promising. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that he's not like, he's not like a, a, someone that you're going, oh, I wish we could see more. He, he, I guess he is kind of that, but at the same time, he's already there with the first team. It's not like someone that you see in the academy and you're going, oh, I wish, I wish he'd be a part of the first team. I wish he would make it into the, into the first team setup. He is there with the first team players. And I, I just hope he gets more game time because he's sick. He's actually sick, bro. He's mm -hmm. actually admin. Look, the thing is, yeah, I, I genuinely believe that he has everything available to him right now to make it as a Manchester City player. Obviously, you get these players, right, that can come through the academy, do do really well, but just not quite make it. Now, at City, we've not really seen that too much over the last 10, 15 years because obviously we've just been buying the best players and just trying to win trophies. However, you've seen it at other clubs where players come through, they break through and... They don't quite make it and they end up getting sold, you know, and I would say at United, they've had a lot of that over the last 10, 15 years. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, however, with Cole Palmer, what do you need? What is the what is the fundamental sort of actu you know, attributes you need? This What are the fundamental skills that you need to be able to make it in this Manchester City team right now? I'd say, one, you need to have a football brain. You need to be able to have excellent control of the football and you need to be able to make the right decisions at the right time. Now, Cole Palm, for me, does have a good football brain. How good that will be, you probably won't find out for another couple of years, to be honest, guys, when he's playing week in, week out. Um, control, look, yeah, he has a phenomenal ball control, so that's absolutely fine. And decision-making, which you would expect someone from at this age to be quite weak, you know, making the wrong decisions at the wrong times, etc., He's making the right decisions. You know what I mean? And, and I, what I would say is, guys, this isn't reactionary. I've seen Cole Palmer a lot in the academy, and I've seen him grow as a footballer. You know what I mean, I remember when he was quite like he's quite skinny now. You know what I mean? He's not a well-built guy. You know what I mean? I, I definitely outbench him in the gym. <laughs> but like, I remember like a few years ago, he was quite a skinny guy, but even then, he was still making the right decisions. And he was, it, 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 it reminds me very much of. I don't want to say this, but. <laughs> It does remind me very, very much of a David Silva type player. Not, I'm not comparing him to David. I'm just saying in the stat, like his stature and his physicality. 
David Silva could get muscled off the ball if he wasn't clever. And I think Cole Palmer could get muscled off the ball if he's not clever. However, he's showing me right now that he's got that football brain and that he doesn't need to go bulking in the gym because he knows how to position his body. He knows where to play the ball and when to play it. For me... He is slamming right now. He's scoring. It's that goal that he scored today was brilliant. I've seen him score goals like that for England in the past. And I remember watching him actually go. I remember uh, I went to an academy game a couple, maybe about a month ago at home. And we played against Leeds in the academy. And um, Cole Palmer played in that game. And he was absolutely, he was, he was frightening that day. He was absolutely frightening. He was on fire. And I thought he was brilliant today. He got man of the match um, on the UK broadcaster. Did and, he? Yeah, and, and I just think genuinely, bro, I just think this guy right now, you know, is the, the only thing that can stop him from going to the top, bro, I know I spoke for a while and I'll let you come in in a sec. The only thing that can that can stop him from going to the very top is himself. That's the truth. That's the truth. If he if he stop if he if he doesn't if he stops working hard or he thinks he's made it, bro, tell me he'll go for Cliff Rapid. But if he keeps on working hard and he keeps on trying to fight for, for, for his future at City, he can go to the top, no doubt about it. See, everything that you're saying right now, right? Everything that you're saying, it's weird because I feel it's definitely resonated through Manchester City, through our board, through Pep, through Cal Doon. Through, all, they're all looking at this guy and saying, this guy is going to be one of the next best things. Because I, I go back to the, the reason why we so, were so willing to let Ferran Torres go, apparently, was because City look at Cole Palmer, who has been playing in the false nine position, obviously can't play on the right-hand side where Ferran Torres would be playing. He would have occupied a spot there as well. And they're saying Cole Palmer has a higher ceiling than Ferran Torres. They, City believe that Cole Palmer would have a brighter future at Manchester City than what Ferran Torres would have had mm. at Manchester City. And that speaks volumes because I actually think that Ferran Torres does have a very like bright future. I think he's really good. Yeah. Um, and, and for the club to be able to just go, yeah, okay, Ferran Torres, you can move because Cole Palmer, you're basically... Ferran Torres basically has stepped aside and let Cole Palmer in. And I'm all for that because... In the next six months or whatever, I don't think we're going to get a striker in, in, in January. I don't think we'll sign like a, someone for up top in January. And um, I think for the next six months, whatever, that we have the rest of the season kind of thing, I think Cole Palmer will be important. I think he will get game time and that's big. And then, do you know what I mean? It just moves forward from there. It's a snowball effect. Just like Foden when he started getting yeah. into the team and that. And look at him now. Foden pretty much is integral. Every time he's, when he's fit and he's on it, I'm saying Foden is always in the starting lineup, and you never know. Next year we could be in a situation, on maybe in two years' time, where we're starting Foden and Palmer pretty much every single game. Mm, yeah. Imagine, imagine a lineup with Foden left wing, Palmer right wing, and then you got a striker up top. That's well, this, insane. This is the thing, and I would say, I would say to to people, I do see Palmer's long term future as a right winger, and he's got a very, very good right winger now in Riyad Mahrez, and and Riyad Mahrez is probably going to be at City for two, maybe three years before he leaves maximum. He needs to learn, like Riyad Mahrez. What Riyad Mahrez is very, very, very good at is. He knows how to hold the ball, when to release the his ball. His timing he, is perfect. He never, ever, ever loses the ball. And I think Cole Palmer can can learn off him about that. You know what I mean? Not, not that Cole Palmer's bad at that already. I think he's already pretty good. But I just think... He's been a sponge, learn. isn't it? Sponge, learn all that. Yeah. Take all that from Riyad Mahrez. Because in a couple of years' time, when Riyad Mahrez could leave Manchester City when his contract ends and that, you've got a natural replacement in Cole Palmer. Yeah, no, absolutely. Br brilliant performance, guys. That was all your thoughts about Cole Palmer in the comment section below. Who's next, Bray? Uh, next up is Nathan Ake. Uh, yeah. Include this guy because this guy has been playing for the last couple of weeks. And he's been absolutely slamming. It's weird. It's weird yeah, because yes, yes. so many people wrote him off and said like, nah, nah, not going to make it. Sell him in January. Whereas now I'm like, yeah, yeah. Don't dash this guy yet because he, he's absolutely slamming for City. And it's, this is this is the blessing about being Manchester City is the fact that the strength in depth. This guy mm -hmm. is our fourth choice centre-back mm -hmm. and he's playing like a top centre-back at a Premier League club. That's the thing. He's... He, he's you look at the best defenders who are on form right now in the Premier League Ake has to be in there because in the past three games or so he's absolutely been yeah. smashing it yes. and, he, and not it's not like wrong. he's been playing easy, easy games and he, like I say not put a foot wrong mm. and you know what I mean I just feel like it's I feel like he will move on at some point. We, we've yeah. spoke about this before. We feel like, he, he, I think we spoke about this in the transfer video we did the other day. I feel like he will move on maybe in summer or something because he's too good to be a fourth try centre back and he's proving that to us now. Yeah. But, and then I think you said in the live stream could he potentially push for a starter place? Well, this is the thing, guys. I mean, look, he's our fourth choice centre-back. However, right now, he's playing very, very, very well. Like, very well. The question that you got to ask yourself is, 
At what point do you just say, look, mate, you're playing mint, you've got the shirt, you continue with it until you fuck up. Like, at the end of the day, if you say to Nathan Ake right now, you you, you were brought in here as a fourth choice centre-back and you know that, and he's like, yeah, I know that. I'm like, you're playing so well right now, I'm going to keep you in the team. And as soon as you drop off, as soon as you start making a mistake, then you're out of the team. The, the sort of inspiration and motivation that Nathan Ake will get from that will be absolutely incredible. Yeah. For me... Look, it's a massive, massive call. Laporte's played well this year, and obviously Stone's played well last year. You know, whether or not you do keep Ake in the team and, and keep him there with Diaz, look, it's a big call. I don't know. However, if he, if Pep does decide to go down that route of you're playing Mint, you can continue in the team, and he plays against Chelsea, you best believe I'm going to be back in this guy 100% because he deserves it. The way that he's played over the last couple of games has been absolutely phenomenal. So... Look, it's another one. It's a big, big call. I get it. And I know some people will just be like, no, no, no. Yeah, Laporte in. And that's fine. But as you know, I'm trying to be consistent with the, the, the stuff that we're saying. We're massive fans of if a player's playing well, regardless the of shirt. the name, regardless yeah. of the transfer fee, they've got the shirt. So I'm trying to be consistent with that approach, you know, all the time rather than just being sort of hypocritical sometimes and just saying, nah, nah, get rid of him. Nathan Ake is at the moment. You guys will have to let us know what you think in the comment section below. Right, let's move on to the player ratings, bro. These are decided, as always, by our extra club members, the guys at the bottom of the screen. If you want to help support the channel, you want to get yourself a name badge next to your name when you leave comments, and, and seriously, you want to just become a GOAT, then become an extra <laughs> club member. The link is in the description. Right, Bray, you have to run through all of these. I yes. Oh, yeah, That's I just fine. remembered I didn't say any of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Stefan gets a 7.8. Uh, Walker. In fact, it says seven point. It's a bit low actually. I think, I think Stefan did quite well today. Mm. Uh, maybe because he, th well, he, th he, he didn't have much to do, and also he threw it straight at them. And so. the, the question marks. Oh, over also, their goal. yeah, they, so. yeah. You're, nah, you're no, right. Think, you're think right. Now, yeah, I you're right. Fair, fair, I actually right. forgot that they even scored. Um, I was actually buzzing when they scored as well. Uh, Walker gets a seven point nine. It's good to see him back. Uh, obviously, the centre back pairings with Diaz with seven point five. Ake with an eight point three. I thought Ake had another good uh, another good game today. Cancelo yeah. gets an eight point five. He was looking decent since today uh, obviously seeing him back again at left back Rodri as a CDM gets an 8.6 nearly scored an absolute worldy again good save as well, yeah, it was fair. a good save a very good save uh, Gundogan gets an 8.9 which is mint he, he had a good game uh, De Bruyne gets an 8.9 as well um, Palmer Palmer this guy this guy bro Man of the match. The extra club members have picked him as man of the match as well. He gets a 9.9, .9, which is mega. That is well, huge. Obviously, you know what I mean? 9.9, .9, one of the highest. We ever have the extra club member ratings. That is huge. Um, Fair and play. Bernardo gets an 8.5, and Gabby gets a 7.4. I imagine Gabby's a bit lower because... I mean, he, uh, he he did that dodgy did, penalty. Did we, did we give Barella a in? Uh, yeah, we did. We uh, should mention Barella. Yeah, yeah. so obviously, dope. subs were on screen. They didn't really get that much time. Makati, uh, Mac Makati I always call him Makati. Makati didn't really, obviously, couldn't really make an impact. Um, Rodolfo. Rodolfo Burrell gets an 8.4 in his, in his, you know what I mean, in his Pep Guardiola era first game. Wow. Up the, wow. up the Rodolfo Barello blues. Yeah. Uh, and the 100%. referee gets a 7.1, but you know what I mean? It's all about Rodolfo this Rodolfo. game. Rodolfo. Mate, this guy's a GOAT. Serious questions need to be asked now, guys. When Pep Guardiola leaves, should Burrell <laughs> be Manchester City's next manager? That's a question for you to answer in the comments section below. Uh, massive shout-out again to Boohoo Man, guys. Actually sm slamming right now on the sponsor of today's video. Use code CityExtra at checkout, and you get an extra 10% off um, your order. And, and normally, they normally have their own sales on as well, so you're just getting even more discounts. Massive shout-out to Boohoo Man. They do genuinely have sick clothes at cheap prices. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, Video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit.